awesome looking buses. <laughs> Dog. Most giant vegan burger. The big waterfall, Veliki Slap. We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who planned for years to travel the world before finally quitting our jobs and leaving everything behind on March the 1st, 2020. Much like everyone else that year, we soon realised we weren't going to get very far, so we stayed put for six months in Estonia, where we ended up making front page news in their national newspaper, Urtulet, and even ended up on their national TV show, Ring Vade. After finally making it to a few more European countries, we made the decision to head back to the UK, where we waited patiently to start our travels again. Now we're finally exploring a brand new country. Welcome to another video here in Croatia. So after driving three and a half hours yesterday from Dubrovnik um, over to Kirka National Park just past Split, we decided we didn't want to go back to our accommodation in Dubrovnik driving another three and a half hours down. So we decided to drive another hour and a half further up the country and we're now in uh, Plitvis. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But anyway, it feels a bit chilly here. We decided last night to stay in an Airbnb last minute, so that's why we woke up this morning. And it's um, definitely cooler here, as you can probably see from around me. We're hoping that it's quite early in the morning, so we're hoping that as the day goes on, the sun will burn the cloud away and it's going to be a lovely sunny day, because today we're going to head to Plitvis Lakes. And then after that, we've got like a five hour drive back to Dubrovnik where our apartment and all our stuff is. So yeah, luckily I had a change of clothes with me, so I was able to shower and put fresh clothes on, so forward thinking. You just never know what's going to happen, you know? Let's go. A short 10 minute journey from our Airbnb and we have arrived here at Plitvis Lakes. We pulled up to the barrier and you just take a ticket and then come in and park. There seems to be plenty of parking. So we're going to walk over to the entrance, hoping that the cloud clears because all I've got today is shorts and t-shirt. And at the moment it's about, I think, 12 degrees. <laughs> so I'm hoping either the sun comes out or I can get a cheap jacket or something just to cover me up or both. <laughs> So we parked up and then we came in and bought our tickets and it was 180 kuna per person, so about £20 or like $25. And I really love that, the same as yesterday when we were at Kirka National Park, here at Plitfish National Park, the tickets all look like this and then on the back of the tickets they have a map of all the places you want to go to. What a great idea, I just quite like that. There is a cafe and a um, supermarket here so we managed to get a coffee here from the cafe. But they don't do breakfasty stuff, so we've had to go to the supermarket and buy ourselves supermarket breakfast. So, you know, between the two, we and Craig's got himself like a little strudel that looks like a sandwich, but it's a strudel. Not very eco friendly packaging, though. It's amazing how yesterday we drove three and a half hours um, from Dubrovnik uh, just past Split, and the temperature was still really lovely and hot everywhere. And then after that, we just drove another hour and a half last night into the mist. And this morning, waking up and stepping outside, it's still all misty. It feels like we're up in the Alps and the temperature is like a good 15 degrees cooler and we obviously don't have the right gear for a cooler temperature because we weren't expecting to, to be doing this. So yeah, we're going to be a bit nippy today but hopefully, hopefully it's going to get sunnier. So yeah, we're going to quickly have our coffee, breakfast and head off to the lakes. Car Park 2, we've walked about 10 minutes. You go down some stairs and some slopes and we've arrived at the park entrance. So there's different routes that you can take and they take different amount of times. There's four different routes that you can take. And one of them is the upper lakes only, one is the lower lakes, one is the upper and lower, and the other one is um, a really long route. So you've got uh, different letters. We're gonna take route H. So that's gonna take supposedly four to six hours. So we'll see how we go. But that takes in that everything. You can see the upper lakes, the lower lakes, the waterfall, everything. 
So, and to yeah. get to Route H, we first need to get a bus. Yes. So we're jumping on these really awesome looking buses. <laughs> they do look cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're like train buses. These cool looking buses take visitors to the section of the park depending on which trail you choose to do. Just like with Kirka National Park, all modes of transport are included in the ticket price. I like today, it's like broken up, it's like bus, walk, then we're going to get a boat later, then we're going to do some more walking, then we're going to get back on a bus again. It's a good mix, I like it. Somewhere around this point in the day, we asked a member of park staff how we're actually supposed to pronounce Plitvis. And they told us it's actually pronounced Plitvice. So from this point in the video, you'll see us attempting to pronounce it correctly. We're going to carry on along the boardwalk this way because we are following H and then later on we're going to catch the boat. So easily marked out, can't really get it wrong. Croatia should be so proud of the setup of these parks, they're just so well put together. You pay your entrance fee and all the boats and buses that you take to get around, they're all included and the trails are so well set up and maintained. There's signage everywhere, there's places to stop and sit and places that you can get food from as well. It is fantastic, really impressed. It is really beautiful here. I think we've made it to lake number four on this part of the trail. And again, we're here at the end of the season. So at the end of a long dry summer. So the flow isn't quite as high as it would be perhaps if you came in spring. I think all of this would be a cascade in spring or late autumn, but we are right at the end of summer now. So the water levels are relatively low, but there's still plenty of waterfalls around to see. National Park is the oldest and largest national park in Croatia. It's made up of the upper and lower lakes of which there are 16 beautiful and famous turquoise lakes. We're walking today from the upper down to the lower and we're here at the beginning of autumn so you can see all the beautiful trees are starting to change colour and go that browny yellowy colour which is stunning. Um, and also the National Park itself has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1979 and walking around here, it's easy to see how it made the cut. It's absolutely beautiful. our way down now to the lower lakes and this is quite chicane but yeah we're gonna catch the boat when we get to the lower lakes and we see something from on the water. Look how stunning these views are. The colours of the leaves are blowing my mind. They're so pretty.
Veliki Pustovac, 28 meter waterfall. So it must be Veliki Pustovac slap. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely the biggest one we've seen. And even though it's the end of summer and so it's supposed to be pretty dry, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive still. Yeah, stunning. It must be absolutely huge when it's not so dry. Yeah. Lots of people queuing up to take photos and videos. Yeah, busy area. This walk is getting better and better and the sun's even come out to join us now as well. It was quite chilly this morning, um, but it's warmed up nicely. Just the heat of that sun on us, so nice now. And we're just getting more and more waterfalls. As you just saw the main waterfall, or one of the main waterfalls that we've just seen. And uh, I imagine we're not too far away from getting on the boat now. So this is the same waterfall that we just saw around the corner. It's absolutely huge. Curves all the way around the corner here. Litvice waterfalls are the world's largest waterfall network. Not to be confused with the world's largest waterfall system. That title belongs to Iguazu Falls in Argentina and Brazil. Litvice, however, has an interconnected network of 16 lakes, more than 100 caves, and over 90 waterfalls that span across the 300 square kilometers of the national park. The upper section of Plitvice is quite spread out, and so there are many boardwalks to allow visitors to comfortably get around this section of the park. With over a million visitors making their way here every year, it's great to know that the authorities are taking good care of it. Swimming is prohibited across the entire park to protect the flora and fauna here, and the park is super clean, and we're pleased to say that we saw no littering throughout our day here. If you're planning a trip to Croatia, it's likely you've already heard about Plitvice. And if you haven't, we highly recommend adding it to your itinerary and allowing yourself half a day for each of the two sections, upper and lower. It's not a place you want to rush around. I'd say that's definitely a highlight of the hike so far. Just that collection of waterfalls that we've just walked around and the boardwalk just wraps around all the waterfalls. It's really beautiful. So we've got about a 15 minute walk now until we get on the boat. Apparently there's a coffee stop and a toilet break, which is going to be much needed. Back in the shade on this side of the valley. So it's a bit nippy again. Looking forward to getting back in the sun. At the start of the day we arrived here at entrance 2, we got on the bus, we've driven all the way along the edge of the lakes here to this point and this is where we got off the bus and we've been weaving our way down all of these lakes and we are now here, we're going to get the boat all the way along this lake to this point, this is where we get off the lake and have lunch and then we're going to walk along here and then probably end the day at Veliki Slap which is the big waterfall. Sun is shining and we're going to go grab some lunch now. That boat journey was so peaceful and calm and beautiful. Really nice. I feel half asleep now after that boat journey. It's about 20 minutes, but it's very slow, I guess, to avoid um, the bank erosion. Um, but yeah, I feel a bit sleepy. So we're going to sit down now, get some lunch, and uh, refuel for the afternoon. We got off the boat and there's this lovely area in the sun to sit and have lunch. There's one lunch outlet that's open. There is another one, but I think that's open in the peak season. It is quite busy today, but to be fair, it is Saturday. Yeah, so we forgot it's Saturday. <laughs> we can let that one go. Unfortunately, we're in Croatia for 10 days. 
we ended up coming here on a Saturday. It's not that busy. So I've got a, a hot dog. And I've got the most giant vegan burger. It looks pretty <laughs> massive. That's going to keep you going. Yeah, and we got some fries. And the price wasn't too bad either. The price was only like 108 kuna, which I think is about, I don't know, 13 or 14 pound, like less than $20. So that's not bad. We already have our own drink, so we didn't get a drink. But I noticed here it feels really alpine like. You can definitely tell we're further up in the country towards like Austria and the, the mountains. It just feels very mountainous and the air is very fresh, just like it feels there. It's making me feel like we should be going skiing soon, <laughs> except it's really sunny and warm. It's very yeah. weird. <laughs> it's very warm by the coast, very Mediterranean feeling and quite arid. And then you come inland yeah. away from the sea and it's just, yeah, quite alpine feeling. It's such a different feeling here in Klipvidze National Park in comparison to Kirka National Park. And it's only like and an hour or so drive away. Yeah. <laughs> it's both beautiful and both completely different. Yeah. I'm glad we've done both. It's good to see the difference. trickery with the camera or something. We're not. The water just really does look that stunning in that colour. Amazing. If you're wondering how and why the water looks this colour, it is due to the type of algae that blooms in the waters of Klitvice. It releases gases as it grows and decomposes, and when those gases react with the water, it shows as a stunning shade of azure. Shortly after leaving the lunch area, this is where you'll find yourself. On these boardwalks, again just surrounded by water and cliffs, I'd say the landscape's even more dramatic on this part of the walk. I think the lower lakes are actually more beautiful and it might be because we've got more sunshine than we had this morning, but the colour is just absolutely uh, out of this world. Yeah. So yeah, loving the lower lakes. And there seem to be bigger fish here, so I guess they must be pretty healthy. You may have guessed already, this behind us is the big waterfall, Veliki Slap. Yeah, I think if you only have a small amount of time and you want to see the beachy lakes, then I would recommend doing just the lower lakes because you can do one or the other. Today we had the entire day, so it's okay, but if you come and you've only got a few hours, the morning or the afternoon, I highly recommend do the lower lakes. Yeah. There's just, it's a quicker walk, there's more to see, it's just beautiful. They're both beautiful, yeah. but if you're short on time, lower lakes. I'd say the lower advice. lakes is slightly more beautiful because it's in a canyon. The turquoise colour of the water is beautiful and you've got bigger fish as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's our tip. TKT tip right there. TKT top tip. <laughs> but check out the waterfall. It still looks dramatic even though it's slightly lower flow, but really beautiful. We had planned to stop filming after making it to the big waterfall, but the views on this section of the loop back were too beautiful to not capture. Although I feel our camera can never quite do this place justice, we hope you have a good idea of the layout and beauty of Klipvice National Park. As always, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, it really helps our little channel to grow, which means we can keep making these videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.
Join us next time as we show you around Dubrovnik Old Town by night. This place has some really cool bars and is great for dinner and drinks, and for those who want a lively atmosphere. For daily updates on our travels, head over to our Instagram at TideNotTravelers, or for exclusive behind-the-scenes content, we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Welcome to another video. Today, we... What do you So we've got... <laughs> I slipped off the seat. <laughs> 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 I learned four words on my wall. Right, okay, we'll try again, we'll try again. Okay. He's really staring. I hear you all not stop staring. I'd say that was definitely a highlight of the. I'd say that's definitely a highlight of the hike so far.